Sunday afternoon. Welcome aboard the Margu slash Tri Generational campaign here at Murder Hobo Inc. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here. Hang on to your ass because it's going to be a wild one. If you've been here before, especially last week, you're already hanging on to the edge of your seat because it is that astonishing. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, Join our Discord. If you want to buy cool crap like a shirt or a phone case or a duvet cover, no shit, we sell duvet covers, uh, check out our tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. It's our store. Uh, it also has some special stuff in it. We'll get to that in just a moment. We'd like to thank our uh, sponsors. First off, Pirate Dog Dice for custom-made dice. You notice, boys, two big reds today. Uh <laughs> I'm going to let Manfang roll these because uh, I have. Yeah, please do. Thank uh, you. Need them. If you want some customized dice, hit them up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, try a little adventure sense in your life. Hmm. Uh, pirate ship. That's very nice. Uh, it'll put a little scent into your game. Uh, it helps a lot when you're playing with live games and people who don't know how to use deodorant. I'm just saying. Uh, I've been to conventions. I know what that is. Uh, they also have something called the Shine System. So if you want to write much more gooder than me, check out their Shine System. And coming soon, uh, they've got a Kickstarter. It's how to RPG with your cat, where you and your at-home uh, fur babies can go ahead and play a game. I've, I've done it, and I had a good time with it. So... Kickstarter starting soon. Uh, and of course, the major announcement we always drone on about is MurderHoboCon.com. Yes, we're throwing a convention. It's a charity convention on August 1st. It's a one-day convention. It's a small little soiree, but we hope you'll join us. We are taking event submissions for DMs, GMs, seminars, and panels, if you will. Uh, if you're a vendor, hit us up. Uh, we can probably offer you a great deal. It's going to be a nice little charity event once the bills are paid. Everything else goes to the American Cancer Society. That is murderhobocon.com. That being said, I've already pointed out this is the Margu slash tri-generational campaign. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who gave me a headache last week. We will start oh. with... <laughs> We'll start with a senior man. member of the group, Frank. <laughs> now I can understand if you said you made your ass hurt, but I ain't buying this headache stuff. That's crap. That's bull crap. I am Frank Senior. I am less than considerate. It should be apparent. And I am playing Leaf the Druid. Leaf. Very nice. Uh, it's always nice to have less than considerate players on this stream. Folks, it is for mature audiences, so... If you're yeah. easily offended, you need to get the hell out now. Uh, we'll zip <laughs> across the board and talk to Jason. Jason, who are you and who do you play? Also, uh, fun fact, Jason did a one-shot for us last night. Had a great time. If you missed it, it's out on Twitch. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, yeah, I did have a great time, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. And it did include Frankie. So for any Frankie fans out there, he played Bowl of Fruit uh, Minotaur. This, this Frankie. No, yeah. Not me, this one. Yeah, there's four Franks on this call, so any of them could be. I'll leave it up to the imagination of the audience who it actually was. Uh, I play Copious Volbitters the third, a forest gnome, sometimes warlock witch, uh, but full-time entrepreneur uh, whose latest – who he is a property owner, a uh, retirement property in light reach. Uh, he has a franchisee selling Volbitters Brew. Now available, t-shirts now available for Vol for Volbitters Brew. Uh, and now with his partners entering into the world of roadhouse management. So very excited. You are an entrepreneurial expert here. Uh, next up, the shadow knows. Uh, Fangman, tell us about yourself. Hi, I am Fangman. I'm in witness protection. I've been in here eight times. We're glad the FBI allowed you to be here. Thank you. Um, I am Man Fang, or Fang Man, as I go by. Don't question it. I am... Is that it? That's it. That's basically it. I, I'm resistant to everything. everything. He's playing to his intelligence. Mm. Shut up, okay? I You put me on the spot. The only thing you aren't resistant to are your dice rolls. Uh, okay. And that is evident last week. Uh, we move over to his father, the guy who actually played last night. Frank, tell us about you. Tell us about your character. 
Hi, I'm Robert of Zeppelin, or as it says, and I play a half orc bard slash sorcerer slash hitman slash partner in crime of a uh, brothel slash roadhouse. How many more slashes can we get in there? Hey, I am a slasher of its own. Always remember, I live by the word of burn it down and leave no witnesses. Uh, yes, that, that is Hoorah! accurate. Uh, next up is our long-winded orator. Uh, Nicholas, tell us about you. Tell us about your character. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of breath already. <laughs> Don't hold us at bay, man. Then if we're going to say anything. <laughs> yeah, screw it. He's done tonight. Uh, folks, as I said, these guys are a campaign, a long-running campaign, actually. Last week, in case you missed it, they created a mushroom cloud over the half lean town of Tree Orky due to some incredibly wild magic and some incredibly flammable liquid. Now, uh, Due to false advertisement, I'd like to say. That under the circumstances that was not false advertisement, uh, Leaf's uh, light spell did not give off any heat. Now, one of the things we have to discuss before we delve into this mess is Leaf. Uh, I rewatched the show, and there was a question on did you or did you not create water to try and extinguish this fire? You're muted. Don't mute it. Saying now that I've cleaned up my language, I'll turn the mute off. Yes, I did create water. And you guys just rolled right over that when I said that. I created I think, water. I don't think he used magic. I think he just peed on the fire. Yeah, he, he just he urinated all over something. Yeah. I think everybody urinated, especially Fang Man. Well, once I started that, they thought I'd called the fire department because they noticed the well, never mind. Anyways, yes, I did create water over a fire. Oh, uh, up in the uh, air, uh, along with the black smoke, is the debris of the mule team that was pulling the wagon, which is also in cinders, uh, up in the atmosphere above. You have uh, burned several people, including yourself, including one Cody Mays, who was the harbinger of this adhesive, flammable fluid. He is in dire straits, not to be confused with guns and roses. Uh, and he is being tended to by several members of the community who have rushed forward to try and assist in this mess. Copius ended the scenario with a smart ass comment towards their new friend and new enemy, Hugo Boss, the textile guy who used to have a great hat. <laughs> Uh, that is done. Uh, gentlemen, the members of Triorki are running around scared to death. There is mayhem in the streets. Uh, only Copious among you stands unscathed by the magical, flamboyant, flammable magic of Robert of Zeppelin and the way it was spread by Leaf. I thought I was okay. Yeah, you uh, rolled like crap. <laughs> oh, right. You rolled the highest amount of damage of anybody. Uh, that's right. why yeah. you're going to yeah. roll all Yeah, damage. you did. So, Copious, you have made contact with a much flabbergasted Hugo boss who is, as expected, uh, missing eyebrows. Uh, his long ostrich feather is now completely one-third of its original size when you got here three hours ago. Uh, and it is burnt to a crisp. You can see scorch marks all over this once flamboyant hat. Uh, Leaf, Robert, Manfang, and I think Haggis. You guys were all in the thick of it. Uh, it's like a Vietnam War movie. There's people with napalm all over them. Uh, everything smells burny. Uh, it, it's not a good sight. Uh, Cody Mays is already going through shock and his body is racked with vibrations. Uh, what do you four want to do to start this unholy mess? 
uh, I think we should back away from the situation and just take a breather, you know. Hey, uh, just to clarify for the, um, the, the scene that we're at, is any of the town burning or just that area where the wagon was and the people that were in this, the town center when the wagon exploded? Only the town or uh, only the um, wagon because this was in the center of town. Right. So the good news is you have not emolliated any buildings at this point. So what you're saying is the rain I created in a 30-foot tube over this area did not extinguish the flames. It did not, and it has made it a mudslide. That's all right. Well, if we I'll roll in the mud. mud. Yeah, roll, yeah. roll, roll well, the flame. Wasn't this, wasn't this gooey mess supposed to be protecting your home from rain penetrating in? So it's basically like pouring oil yeah. on a grease fire. Wait, I or not oil, but water. Copius wants to take note, if he can, of the of the townsfolk that look like they're on fire. Mm -hmm. Do any of them look like shop owners? B12 against me. You're really Seven. trying to get in good favors. Ah, one. Ah, uh, no, negative. No, uh, no mercantile types. Do any of them look pissed off? Uh, hold <laughs> on. Let let me roll percentage. One hundred. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was everybody. I feel real bad about that right there. Yeah, everybody <laughs> looks pissed off, uh, but right now they are in EMS mode, so they are trying to a extinguish the flames and having very little luck. Uh, B trying to resuscitate said owner of wagon, and three uh, lend a caring hand to those people whose skin is falling off. I'm gonna start healing people. Oh wait, that's wild magic. Yes, it is. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna Fire. go to the tavern. Here we go. Fireball. <laughs> Roll. I rolled a three. I rolled a one. Okay. I'm just going to heal people with it. Okay. How many people can you heal? No, I got to switch the spells. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I'm just doing some uh, healing words. Die four. That'll work. Uh, go ahead and roll a uh, D10 for me. Die 10. There it is. Roll to three. Uh, you're going to work on three people. Give me three. Or, uh, I'm, I'm going to skip that. So you're going to work on three people. Uh, Haggis, you said you were going to the tavern, correct? Yes. Fair enough. Uh, give me a perception check. Um, um. Um, 13. Okay. Uh, you see farmers uh, who were tending the field are rushing in town to try and help uh, because that's what halflings do, as you, a halfling, are well aware of. Uh, you can go into the tavern. Uh, there will be two people who do not give any shits about the problem outside. Manfang, what are you doing? What am I doing? Okay, where I don't even know what I'm. Great poison on that fire. Maybe that'll put it out. Yeah. Ah, there you go. You're resistant to fire. Remember, you can you yeah. can go in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really think. I actually thought about spewing acid on it. Bang man, first of his name, last of yeah. his kind. <laughs> Breaker of chains. I am the. Yeah, that acid ain't gonna do any good. It will work hey, you never know, to try. All right, good enough. That's good enough for me. Uh, where's the biggest flame? Right in the center. All right. I'll Is there that. a body in that flame? Uh, no, uh, Cody was blown asunder. All right, well, I'll do it anyways because I want to see what happens. So, But if, if there's a flame in the middle of town and nobody's in it, do we, we probably don't care, right? So it does, I don't have a spell, but does anyone have a, a spell like Leaf? Do you have a spell of they would manipulate or blow mud onto the people that are burning. Maybe I've been going through them trying to find something. <laughs> I rolled six. So I need to here. discuss that with the uh, DM. I thought about turning into a sperm whale 
and snuffing out the fire that way, you know. But, Blue whale. <laughs> Blue whale. I, 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 you know? I, I, I rolled 16 for the acid flash. Thank you. That works real well. Uh, Robert, give me a deck save. <laughs> I, I read his lips. I think he said, son of a bitch. It's weird that I picked him. <laughs> I couldn't see you. You were crouched down. Oh, hold on. Maybe it's a die roll. No, it's him. <laughs> Yeah, it's maybe it's probably a good thing, Fang Man. You're you're uh, not going home tonight. I think it is. Yeah, Robert, you're still muted. I said sixteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, you did not get hit by the poison. Uh, however, D twelve against me. Let's see if the person you were miraculously saving just got shot in the head, aka Private Ryan style. Two. <laughs> nope, you, you have managed to save somebody. Uh, okay, Copius, uh, what are you doing? You have uh, given your mic drop speech to uh, Hugo Boss. Uh, you see your friends. I will, I will do the air quotes, helping people. Uh, and you see uh, a conundrum on Leap the Druid's face. As he tries to figure out what he can do. So uh, how... Uh, is this a large crowd of people that are currently on fire? Uh, no, I don't think so, because most of them had already... Well, there's 11 of them, uh, and Robert's got three of them. Um, so I'm going to... And uh, just trying to, again, picture the scene. Oh, I got uh, it, got it, got it, got are it. Are they all running around, or are most of them on the ground, screaming and flailing about? What? How, what's the reaction of most of them? If you saw Philadelphia Experiment, that's what they look like. They are on the ground flailing about, trying to get the flames off. People are beating on them, kicking dirt on them, and things of that nature. Uh, so is our cart with the, the can, is there, with what canvas we could find anywhere nearby? Uh, about a block away. I'm going to cast Summon Unseen Spirit. And I'm going to direct it to grab whatever whatever um, heavy tarp canvas may be in the area. Uh, and if there's none in the near area within the spell's radius, um, if there's water, bucket, something like that, and, and direct it to begin one person at a time trying to put out the, the flames. Uh, go ahead and do, water, a, on uh, do an odd even for me, please. He's I'm setting you face. up. For he is so hiding his, hiding his face. Grin. We're screwed. Even, here. but but just but what even? Murder hobo. Even. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, the unseen everything. servant will go ahead and take tarp from your wagon, not somebody ah, else. I don't understand. <laughs> what did you go <laughs> <on> the wagon? <laughs> Uh, and it will come over and start to drape people in the tarp. Okay, Leaf, let's see what brilliant idea. How far you... how far away is everybody from this wagon? Well, Robert's right in the middle of it because he's got the uh, Red Cross medic symbol on. He's trying to heal people. Uh, Fang Man there was close enough to spit. Haggis is nowhere to be seen, and uh, Copius <sighs> is on the perimeter. Then I will take this turn and tell everybody to get away, get at least 30 feet away from the wagon. Including the people writhing in pain on the ground? Well, you know, I'm I'll talking about the people on my side. I'll be get fine. away. I'm resistant to mob. I can I space this. Wagon. That's fine. I can space this. I ain't worried about people on the other side of the wagon. So I'm resistant to So mob. that's what I'm going to do. Just tell them to get away from the wagon in front of me. Uh, Robert, you were uh, knee deep in nearly dead people. Give me a perception check to make sure that you heard Leaf's command. I'll say, I guess I'm trying to drag people. I'm wasting my magic on saving. What what role did you want? Uh, perception. See if you heard him. Oh, perception. There it is. So Leaf just screamed clear. Dirty 20. Okay. Uh, you uh, grab two handfuls of people and you start dragging them out because you know Leaf, the less than considerate, is about to go <laughs> ahead and help people. I only warn you once. Leaf, uh, people are trying to scatter. There are a few bodies there that are still writhing in pain. What do you want to do? Now, they're on the other side of the wagon from where I'm at, though, aren't they? Uh, even they will be. 
four. Yes, they are on the other side of the All wagon. All right. Now, I'm going to about – I would say uh, – I don't know how far away the wagon is for me. I'm going to assume it's <coughs> a good 20 feet or so. Yeah, maybe. Probably All right. 15. I'm going to cast – I'm going to cast uh, Erupting Earth between me and the wagon. Okay. You need me to roll? Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, a fountain of churned earth and a 20 foot cube centered on that point. Any creature in that area has to make a deck saving throw. So, no one <laughs> on the ground on fire. Uh, Robert, uh, D12 against me. Well, he, I thought he moved out of the way. He's moving, but he's dragging bodies. Well, I said I was I was telling him to move. I was waiting till no. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, then, so. then you're fine. Yeah, Robert's fine anyway. He okay. drags the bodies out. You cast your magic. Uh, the earth just trembles, and dirt clods shoot into the air a short distance. And uh, from the other side of the wagon, you hear it's a bullet. <laughs> <From> <laughs> From a panic, a bullet, <laughs> from a panic citizen. Okay. Well, there, Jason, there's your mud. I I don't know what to do. Uh, Haggis, you are now in the tavern. The bartender and the waitress are there. Uh, they have looked out the window. They have seen the mess. And they are just hurriedly preparing what hair uh, for the injured and ask what what you want and can you help so is it just those two in there no one else correct okay then i'm gonna leave the tavern okay where do you want to go um what's everyone else doing you see uh one of your tarps being stolen from the wagon and being dragged towards the bodies okay i i tackled the culprit fair enough go ahead and give me an attack Oh, God. You're a devious Thief. soul, aren't you? Thief. Yeah. Thief. yeah. <laughs> um, we have yet to do combat in the last three hours. I know. This is ridiculous. Yeah. 18. I'm just tackling. That doesn't mean it's combat. Sure. Oh, that's combat. That's combat. Sir, you, uh, you tackle the unseen servant, uh, and the tarp falls to the ground. Uh, Copius, does your unseen servant have an attack ability, or oh, does it... <laughs> this is just the unseen servant? It's uh, it has like one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> so it's you on your forehead. The tarp wafts up and falls gently to the floor. Or you say ground. tarp, like what does it look like? Is it blue? Does it Tent look... tarp? It's so gray canvasy thing. But but is it like good? Yeah, yeah, Came right out of your wagon. <laughs> it's, uh, I believe, it's going to be used to house the uh, victims of the massacre at the roadhouse. But, but, but they're okay. Right? Oh <laughs> no, no, we're making tents for them. That's what the tarp was for. Correct. Yes, but we need that for the people. We need that for the people at the roadhouse, not the people here in their fire. That's true. You have to make Good sacrifices. Point. That's right. <laughs> It's for <laughs> your own good. We're here to help. We're here to help. We're here to help. We're from the government and we're here to help. Uh, Robert, I'm doing my part. You you have successfully dragged two bodies, healed a third. Uh, you give an angry glance towards Leaf at nearly erupting you into an earthquake. You too can hear the shouts of, it's a bullet. It's it's uh, it's one of those uh, giant crickets. Uh, so now the townspeople are on fire, trying to help, or scared <laughs> shitless because you guys have really molested this uh, rescue. What? <laughs> it is not my fault that some liar came in here selling lies to the good people of this village. If he was not a liar, we would all be safe having drinks and everything else. God is punishing this man for lying. And now for us being here listening to him, he is punishing us people. <sighs> I'm here to sent, help and save as best I can. Were you sent by God to stop this man? On a mission from God. On a mission from God. Copius, give me a perception check. On a mission for dead. 
Uh, I want the toast. Just not, toast. Not good. Nine. Just carnage in front of you. Uh, Man Fang, what do you want to do? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Man Fang, what are you doing? That laugh would never I, be good. I, I, was in, I was talking to someone. I didn't hear what you said, what was going on. Uh, it, it's your turn. Uh, okay. I'm still, I, I spit acid. And now the ground has erupted. So clearly you have some magical power bestowed upon you by deities. Yes. But now you, give, you have breath that moves the earth. You need to find a brothel ASAP and uh, live this one down. Well, if you've been around him in the morning, he does have breath that moves the earth. I have yeah. not been around him. Uh, the judge does not want me around juveniles. There's a restraining, there's a restraining letter. <laughs> So he can't be real, 30 foot. He can't be like a, in 100 feet of any park. Or school. So what or do you school. want to do, man thing? What do I want to do? That's a good question. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll fight the fire with my battle axe. Nice. Uh, Copious already... Chop down the wood. Had a crappy uh, perception roll. So Leaf, what do you want to do? You have uh, created a lot of dirt, a lot of mud... Uh, it seems to be helping a little bit as people uh, gingerly grab dirt clods, uh, afraid of what is going to emerge from this crevasse that you have created. Well, I guess I can go ahead and heal somebody. Don't knock no. yourself out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go up to the one of them that's hurt, and I say, man, do you see the size of that thing come up out of the ground? Holy shit. I did that. It was huge. <laughs> it was huge. Now I'll go ahead and cast some healing. I don't know who I'm dealing with here. It's, it's a half uh, link, so I'll give it not really go zero for copyright reasons. Give me a D10, please. Okay. Can't see the dot. <gasps> nine. Uh, you're going to spend the next nine minutes trying to heal people. Copious. Uh, your role reveals nothing. Uh, as you look out, uh, you notice uh, you get that feel that your invisible servant has been uh, expunged. You look over to see Haggis now wrestling a tarp because why not? Uh, <laughs> so, maybe... Do I see Hugo Boss anywhere? Oh, yeah. Do I see what is he engaged by the the fire and the carnage? Is his attention focused on that? Thousand yard stare. He's got PTSD. Do I see his wagon anywhere? His wagon? Uh, give me an investigation roll, please. Mm, no. <laughs> Uh, you will not see it as it is parked in an alleyway. Okay. <clears throat> Meanwhile, you're like a Deadpool movie. There's people on fire running past you. There's bodies screaming. And you're... I wonder where that guy's wagon is at. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I, so I'll, I'll just uh, lay it out. Um, if everyone is distracted by the fire... Uh, Copius's original training was as a thief and he would like to move into shadows and try to find Hugo boss's wagon and take back some of the money that he overcharged us. Sure. That works. Uh, give me uh, another investigation check for this one. No, <laughs> I haven't cracked five on the rules you've had me do. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, about 10 minutes passes. Uh, finally, everybody is extinguished. Haggis has defeated the evil mimic tarp monster. Uh, Robert is a real stand-up guy, as is Leaf for healing. And everybody notices that Man Fang is trying to put out fire by hitting it with a battle axe, fanning the flames, but not egregious enough to set anything else on fire. Uh, as more and more people tumble into the town square, uh, you notice that these people seem to have it well in hand and your services are probably no longer uh, required. Robert, 
uh, several loved ones of the people that you've healed have come up and, oh, bless you, sir. Bless you. You are ugly, but at least you healed my people. So. <laughs> sir, thanks is wonderful. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Lord, um, thanks is most grateful. Do I know which wagons are wagon? Uh, yeah. They're well, all like, ours. I, I, well, we just I just haven't claimed them yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was just thinking, what if I returned the tarp to Hugo's wagon because I didn't know what ours looked like? Are you yeah. helping the DM? What are you doing? <laughs> you, yeah, you don't know that the tarp is yours. I mean, certainly, you, you know Hugo bosses. I go, oh no, 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 no! I, you could just I, steal it. You from know yourself. damn good and well if he took it away from that creature, it's his tarp. Period. Yeah. He's claiming it. You bet. That's true. Yeah. So give me an investigation check, Haggis. Eighteen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, right over there, right behind that building. <laughs> like, that, that looks like a textile guy's place. <laughs> Meanwhile, you notice hiding in shadows and being quite stealthy, copious. So you go ahead and walk past him, <laughs> dragging the tarp over your shoulder. And Haggis, uh, as you reach the wagon, what would you like to do? What is it, uh, what's, what's, the, what's going on with it? Just sitting there. Got bolts of cloth in it. Are there any like pouches? Well, you're gonna have to investigate. Okay. Um. Plus three, so four. <laughs> wow! Uh, your what? search, your search is interrupted by a small meek voice asking, "Hey, Mister, uh, is that your wagon?" Are you asking me? I'm telling you. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, as you turn around, you see a small waif of a girl, probably a farmer's daughter, uh, maybe 10 years old tops. And she and her <laughs> herd of ducks are intently watching you. Herd of ducks? Herd of ducks. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Just a collection of ducks. Is this a reference or something? No, it's called, it's called, it's called a little farm girl with a herd of ducks. I don't, what's wrong? I don't know, but don't talk to them. Run. Just run away. The ducks look misshapen around the head region. Oh, uh, it, it's almost like they've had a severe head injury. And there's there's a good 10 or 12 of them there. Oh, we're gonna and they, screwed. every time you move, I see. They watch you intently. What What's the problem here? I, I say yes to the wagon question, but I just say, what's going on? Well, my dad told me to wait by this wagon, so I just wanted to make sure it was okay. Right. Is this our wagon? This is our wagon. Copious is a dick. No, this is, this is Hugo <laughs> Boss's wagon that you found. And Hugo it's... Boss has a dog? Oh. No, no, no. Farmer's daughter. Does your dad oh. own this wagon? No. Okay. So what you want doing here? <laughs> my dad, my dad's in there helping people, and he told me to wait by the wagon. I, I hope that's okay. Helping people, <laughs> helping himself, probably. Well, I'm a little busy here trying to inspect this wagon. So. Okay. I, I will go to the other side of the street. She wanders off, and the herd of ducks falls in a singular straight line and waddles off right behind her as if they are well-trained, except for one. And Hell you yeah. notice this is the runt of the litter. It's a smaller duck, and it, it's one of its eyes is kind of crossed. <laughs> So yeah. it doesn't look quite right, but it seems to like you. Aww. That's kind of sweet there, Haggis. Yeah, I should, as I you, should probably. As, as you stare down to it, it quizzically looks at you. Man fang, or I'm sorry, Robert, what are you going to do? You've uh, rescued Mine. as many people and your palms are as dry as the earth leaf has moved. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to step away. Say my my job here is done, folks. Fair enough. Uh, what do you want to do after you step out of the mess? I'm gonna go gather over with uh, Leaf. 
Cat on shore. So I think I think it's time for us to go. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Man Fang, what are you doing? Are you still chopping at the fire? Um, no, I think that's ineffective. So I'll just <laughs> go talk. To the <laughs> Intelligence <guy>. check. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh no! <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> In your face! Natural twenty. Suck Even Man Fang knows that this is ineffective. <laughs> <laughs> You're only natural twenty for the night. Wait a minute, Man Fang. Uh, excuse me, but I believe that was a 17, wasn't it? Nope, that was a natural point. <laughs> After you take your minus three off. Oh, was... yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, you, you now stop. <laughs> you, you notice Robert wading through uh, the dirt and debris headed over towards the other side of you. Where I'm not wading through it. I'm just stepping on the body so I don't get mud on my shoes. Wow. They're dead. Yeah, what do they care, you know? Well, they're, they're like dead, little but, stepping stones. They're dead, but their their families aren't. Uh, so, Man Fang, uh, you see at least two of your comrades gathering. You do not see the other three folks at home. Uh, AJ is not with us tonight, so his character will be ineffective as Man Fang and the Spelling Bee. <laughs> and tonight we'll be auctioning off this wonderful Zonky, this albino special. It's great for hauling bodies. Let's start the bidding at one goal. <laughs> also, man, man, thing, do you want to join the other two? Yeah, I got nothing else to do. Fair enough. Uh, Leaf, uh, you notice Robert seems to be rather chipper as he has finally reached legendary hero status as a yeah. healer of Triorki. I'm going to ask uh, at, when it comes up, I'm going to say, have you seen uh, Haggis or Copious? Uh, last thing I saw Haggis, he was wandering off, so, muttering something about getting a drink. And Copious was, he was right over there. I have no clue. That way. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to head back into town and keep an eye out for him. You were dead center of town. I mean, this whole mess, Oh, okay. This is right in the middle? Right in the middle of town. We um, blew up the statue of somebody's old man. Oh, well, that's all right. Robert and Manfang found the wagoneer on the edge of town and brought him in to meet Brought him into town. Guys. Okay. I didn't catch to you. his death and demise. Uh, <laughs> FYI, he did not make it. Uh, you also notice that Hugo Boss is wandering around. Boom. No feather. Hey, Leaf, this is yep. an excellent time. Hugo looks a little out of it. You know, I think if we draw up the right contracts, he might sign anything right now. Well, <laughs> we hopefully you didn't step on the barrister's dead relative. <laughs> Doesn't hurt to try. Well, no. we just, let's uh, let's go offer him 10 gold for his wagon and everything on it. I Tell him that way he can go buy him a new feather. Uh, D12 against me there, Leaf. Uh, hang on, I gotta Six. find it. Dead 11. Uh, Hugo uh, nods. Uh, yeah, uh, feather. Yeah, uh, and he's ready to follow you around. Okay, then we will uh go ahead and uh, and let's close this deal. So you say we need to go to the barrister. Mm -hmm. We'll head to the barrister. Feels dirty as a roofy chick in a bar. <laughs> Go ahead and give me an investigation because he ain't going to be easy to find. All right. That's plus two. That'd be seven, <laughs> 17. Not 20, baby. You don't find him. He's busy. <coughs> Hopefully, uh, you know what? Give me a straight up D12 roll for yourself. D12? Yep. That's a nine. Uh, it's only going to be nine minutes before Hugo Boss regains his senses. So, best, well, I'm going to uh, go ahead and get out a have uh, Robert tell Robert, you know, to get out a piece of parchment. Let's write up this deal right now. Or do not, it. let's get the deal done. Right in the middle of town. Good call. Right in the middle of town. We'll Copious. bring some people over as witnesses. <laughs> Copious, uh, give me one more investigation roll, please. I got a good intimidation that roll if need be. I don't think we're uh, need 17. maybe a little gold bribe. 17 is enough to uh, notice that 
your associate Haggis Crapstein is uh, seems to be at odds with the duck uh, next to a wagon <laughs> filled with textiles. They are just locked in eye contact, neither one wishing to break. Uh, so Copus is going to look at that for a moment, and then he's going to go uh, sigh, and then turn and walk away back towards the tavern. <clears throat> and yeah. as he enters the town square, if there are folks still in there injured and whatnot, he's going to start ushering them all into the tavern. He's going to be encouraging them sympathy, empathy, come on, let's get you something, let's get you a drink, let's get you a drink, it's a trauma, let's get you a drink, and then go into the tavern and tell the tavern keeper to set up drinks for all the brave souls that have been injured and whatnot and have helped fight the fire inside the tavern. And then once he's done that, he's going uh, to begin a pitch uh, among the folks that are there and lay groundwork that says, we need we need to remember this, the tragedy of this day. We need, we need to start a collection for a plaque to go back in the town square to memorialize those that we lost today. Say from what? The from the attack of that boulette that erupted from the ground. And he's going to use fake yeah. presence to try to make us yeah. you know, really bring them into this storyline. I'm uh, going to need a bullshit roll on that one, please. <laughs> Well, that is Copious' specialty, so. Yeah. But not today, it's not. <laughs> Man, you better switch dice, dude. Yeah. I think I gave you my dice. Uh, you should have had those dice last night. Uh, <laughs> the crowd is still a little bit shell shocky, so they are whatever. Uh, the tavern owner lambasts you at uh, denigrating these people's psyche as clearly they are under the weather and just. Uh, not well mentally. Yeah, Copius uh, is going to go on the attack with the, the tavern keeper and say, then why aren't you giving them something to drink? I told you to serve these people. My tab. They, they're already giving them water. Yeah, I'm, just give, You know what? D12 against me because I want to do this. <laughs> yeah, Ten. Three. Uh, I'm not going to do it then. Uh, I was going to pour water onto your head. <laughs> uh, the tavern owner quickly moves uh, from person to person, giving them crude wooden cups and pouring water out of a pitcher, as does his waitress. Your brave uh, poetic speech has fallen on deaf ears as uh, it's just it's just early. It's just too early. There's no scab yet. So. I haven't rolled over five yet today, <laughs> except for that dive 12. So you could have been wearing water. Uh, Leaf and uh, Robert, go ahead and give me perception checks. Uh, 23. Nat 20. Both of you notice Copius herding the people into the tavern. So you guys can head that way in a moment. Cop or Haggis, this duck is in a stare down competition with you. It's beady little black eyes haven't deviated from your gaze whatsoever. And if Which one? If you didn't know any better, you'd swear this duck has something out for you. You just get a feeling about this duck. In my stomach, you know? Yeah. Dad, dad. Dad. <laughs> It's a descendant. Red <laughs> rum. Red rum. <laughs> it is an Alka Seltzer moment. So I'm gonna slowly with my two hands, the, the palm, the the two the palm of both oh, my hands. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna try and lift up the duck slowly. This okay. is where Pex's eye out. <laughs> <laughs> or not oh, oh, the duck's got me. <laughs> uh, give me an animal handling roll to see how this is going to be perceived <laughs> by said duck. Oh, this is great. Okay. Sixteen. Uh, the duck doesn't even move. 
but it does not avert its gaze either, uh, as at least one eyeball is still trained on you at all times. How big is this thing? Like heaviness? About four pounds. About dinner size. <laughs> About eight pounds. As you lift the duck up, That's you notice that one of its legs is kind of crooked. You're taking off? Hang on a bit. So uh, it, it seems to be injured, but it doesn't seem to be recently injured. Uh, it looks more of a, perhaps a birth defect or deformity uh, somewhere along the lines. Uh, the duck leans forward, and I need a wisdom save from you. Thirteen. Huh. Um. Uh, you have this overwhelming urge to feed this thing. Okay. Uh-oh. Um. What, what, what I got? Um, don't say. Let's go into the tavern. So I'm gonna have this duck on me. I'm am just gonna start with the shoulder. It could go anywhere at once on my body, but we're gonna move our way into the tavern. Well, a <laughs> halfling and a <laughs> duck come into a bar. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, you walk, <laughs> into, walk into the bar. I, Leaf and Robert, I assume you guys are headed into the bar since you saw Copious headed that way. With our buddy. Uh, Man Fang, did you want to go into the bar as well after being a firefighter and doing all your pose downs for your calendar appearance? I, Man Fang, you can only come in the bar if you're wearing a pair of suspenders at this point. <laughs> Fireman pants and a helmet. White, white with an t-shirt. Axe. Yeah. Gotcha. With an axe as well. I have to hold the axe everywhere. So, um, do you, sure. did you want to go in with them? Sure. Uh, copious. Uh, the door opens up, and your three associates wander in. Uh, I'm assuming that they kind of lean up against the wall as they, as you guys normally do. Uh, a moment later, Hoggis walks in with the duck on his shoulder. Uh, everybody give me perception check. And Haggis, you roll d12 against me. 13. 21. 14. I got 24 or natural 20. Haggis, uh, d12 against me. Good deal. Oh, uh, <laughs> eight. Twelve. Uh, everybody rolled high enough to see uh, the tail of the duck kind of shaking. Like a rattlesnake? Not really. Uh, have you been around farm animals before? About to take a shit down his back? <laughs> not, a, not about to. He just did. <laughs> Yes, the ducks will often flutter their back ends right before hey, evacuating and that their is bowels. some foul swill coming out. Oh, of that good one. Right. Very oh. good. Uh, little pun action there. Uh, do, do, we, do we have uh, adventure sense for ducks? I don't think we have ducks. duck poop adventure sense. You know, I'm going to go ahead and take a sniff on mine anyways just to clear my brain. Yeah, I'm fishing. Sure we want some. We'll collect some for you. For yeah, you. yeah maybe, maybe they want that stuff. Uh, we aren't sure. Might not be a big seller. So, Haggis, you've been crapped on by your new duck who uh, doesn't seem to be aggressive at all. But again, yeah. you get this oh, overwhelming. What do you call that a shit on him? Hungry. I think that's pretty aggressive right there. I think that's pretty natural for everybody. I think that's dominant behavior, right? It's trying right. to prove dominance. On I think it's time to pluck it, duck. I do what the duck tells me to do. Uh, so you go in. Uh, well, his name is Haggis Tame. So I guess that is, oh, hey. that is true. Yeah, it's got to live up well to his played. name. Well played. Well yeah. played. All of you are now inside the tavern. The uh, and we still got what's his name with us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Him to introduce him to Copious. Get some paperwork drawn up. Yeah. yeah. Let Copious know he's decided to uh, sell to us. There's his whole wagon and everything in it. It was close. We get that. You should, you should have. Plus, no. plus discounted rates on up and coming future barters. He's going to put it to paper. Uh, let's see if the bartender notices. 
Nope. Um, are you guys telling me this? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. And there's Hugo Boss is here. He's right yeah. here with us, our new and buddy. Hugo Boss, does copious knows Hugo Boss seems completely dazed and out of it? Well, <laughs> unless you're blind. <laughs> I have not been able to find a wagon in a three-building town. <laughs> Uh, That's true. Copious, give me a perception check. The explosion. Oh, my my God. God. I rolled a three. <laughs> I'm going to tell Copious I'm in a whisper sure you have my that we need to get this signed and witnessed before he comes out of the daze that he is apparently in. It's the tinnitus, uh, the ringing in the ears, Copious. It's really bothering you today. The duck, the duck has me off my game. Uh, so Copius is looking at the Hugo Boss, and 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 this uh, this will Robert and Leaf will just be flabbergasted by this. He's going, I can't enter an agreement with this guy. He's clearly dazed and out of his gourd. Oh well, we clearly don't know you. Let's get away from him before it's contagious. Let's go over to the table. No, 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 no. Yeah. Let's just be just let's be clear. When Copius takes Hugo Boss for everything he's worth, I want Hugo to know that Copius has taken him for everything he's worth. Okay, congratulations. Stay at the bar, Copius. I, I'm looking for my quick go. Jesus. Everybody help notices you. that the the help. duck shit smells. <laughs> so, do we need to do a perception <laughs> check for that? <laughs> nope. Or do we just... Maybe we think it's somebody <laughs> else that stinks. No, no. Hey, guys, look at my new duck. Uh, the duck uh, drops off your shoulder and lands awkwardly on the floor and begins to walk with a little hitch in its giddy up uh, because it's got that bum leg. And it is wandering around looking. Well, I'm gonna probably I'm, looking for peanuts or something. Well, yeah, I, um, um, I'll I'll put it on a bar stool and I'll. I'm gonna order it and drink nuts. Yeah. Don't go out at the bar, the bar yet. <laughs> it's just what the hell for me and fire water for the duck. Um, establishment. You know, pat the table. Let the sure, peanuts. Yeah, it's because they aren't busy or anything. <laughs> They're not. They're only serving water. Uh, Robert and Leaf, you have moved Hugo down into a table area, correct? Yes. The door flies open, nearly clipping Man Fang in the back, and a loud, boisterous individual yells out, Whose ass do you got to kiss to get a drink around here? As Mine. you guys turn. <laughs> 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 turn, you notice that the doorway is filled with colorfully dressed flamboyant gnomes. They have facial, exaggerated facial makeup on uh, with great big rings around Are their eyes. The Are they here what? Are they here for the pride parade? Uh, they are not here for the pride parade. Uh, give not, me the Devon Trap family die. Well, we don't know. They're in Ragland. Were they? Who? Didn't we come across these people already? Not these guys. Oh, okay. New uh, people. Uh, this you, is the Partridge family. Yeah, you'll 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 know in just a moment. Everybody, give me a religion check, but it has to be super high. Yeah. Religion. Yep. Religion. Oh, oh mine's high, anyways. Holy crap! Five. Thirty twenty. Twenty. Twenty three. <laughs> Uh, did somebody have a nat 20? Jason? Two dirty no, no nat 20s, dirty 20s all around. So 23 is the best you can do, Leaf. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, not, not sure. You don't have any recollection. Uh, yeah. these, these individuals, again, are dressed in flamboyant costumes, very vibrant colors, facial makeup. Uh, they kind of look at Man Fang. Uh, they move down into the crowd. Are they uh, bald? <laughs> uh, some are bald, some are not. Uh, some of them have paint all the way around their nose. Uh, for lack of a better term, they look like clowns. Uh, who is closest to the bartender? Is that Haggis? 
August. August. August, you hear the Did bartender I ever get the nuts? Side, yes, you got nuts. Okay, I'm That's feeding my nuts. duck, by the way. Yes. Uh, you Cracking hear the them. <laughs> you hear the the uh, owner uh, kind of gasp. Clearly, Do you know these guys? Yeah, I know these guys. Don't you okay. know who these guys are? All right, Krishna. Um, yeah, no. Maybe, yes, no. The duck. I go back the, to the, the duck's my eyes duck. actually <laughs> line up correctly before it gets the wandering eye again. Uh, these are cultists. They worship Insanus. Oh, what's Insanus? It, it's a deity, and they always travel around in packs, or they call them posses. Should I be scared? The damn clown posse. <laughs> <laughs> Insane clown posse. Man, Haggis, he tells you yes. You should be very careful around these individuals. How many of them are there? Do they come here often? Do they come here only six? Sometimes there's only six of them. Does it end well when they visit often? Not usually. Okay. If you need anything. You keep feeding the duck, and uh, you're being a little <laughs> slow, so the duck is actually snapping at your fingers. Yeah, uh, I, 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 <laughs> the uh, insane clown posse members wander up to the bar and demand drinks. Uh, the owner hurriedly attends to their needs, and they all kind of Bugs Bunny lean up against the bar, looking around, sizing each one of you up because you ain't from around here. Uh, the leader and big enough for the two of us. <clears throat> the leader is a female with orange, spiky hair. Uh, she has oh, multiple where? teardrops down her cheek. Where's Felix <laughs> when we need him? And she takes a fancy two man thing, <laughs> of course, <laughs> and heads over to you. Oh boy, like what's, what's her charisma? What's her charisma? 13. Man Fang. <laughs> yeah. like man, man Fang, this uh, little Hellcat looking you up and down and goes, What's your name, Stretch? Fang Man. Why do they call you Fang Man? Why am I called Fang Man? That's just my name. That's all it is. Nothing, nothing special. Don't fancy it up. How much for that axe? way out of your price range. It's very... I don't think so. All right. Um, one? No. 3,000 gold. It was very expensive. I've had it for a long time. It's very special to me. I will say. Doesn't look like it has any hashes in the blade, so I don't think you've done much work with it. I'll well, give you that, a thousand. Well, that's so expensive because it's in mint condition. Hmm. I'll give you a thousand gold pieces for it. Hmm. The other members of the posse uh, are just watching intently as this drama unfolds. Uh, while you ponder the reverse offer, uh, we'll start with Leaf. Leaf, uh, clearly, you know, aside from the, oh, I burnt, oh, the bullet got me. Uh, you can see uh, this orange fire-haired hellcat squaring off with Manfang and having a a deep, meaningful conversation. I'm going to kind of edge my way over that way. Okay. Uh, yes, I'll finish right now. The contact. Yep. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check there, Leaf. 27. Uh, out of the corner of your eye, you catch another one of these heavily uh, decorated individuals kind of going towards your six. I'll keep a, a one eye on him and just keep edging over. Get my back to the, the duck. <laughs> I was about to say, now he looks like the duck. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Both ways. Uh, Copious, uh, what do you want to do? You have taken the high road and opted not to rip off Hugo Boss because you want to yince him in full view of himself. Uh, and I'm still in the, the tavern main room, and so I've saw, seen the posse come through the door. Oh, yeah. Every, all of you have seen this weird collective come through the door. I hate clowns. Oh, only Haggis knows, <laughs> now knows who they are, though. Nobody else does. 
uh, how who's of the party who's closest to me at this point? I know Robert and Leaf moved off with Hugo, but are Man they the closest? No, Man Thing will be. Uh, and do I overhear the conversation Man Thing's having with the the gnome? How about you perception check it? <laughs> yeah, that's worked. Yeah, roll that's another three. Oh, hey, twenty one. Uh, yeah, you hear uh, some kind of business deal. Uh, and she's offered him a thousand gold pieces for his axe. Yeah, but it's not enough. I'm going to move over to, to Manfang and, and, and walk up to him. And let's hope this Man, Manfang, Manfang. Yeah. Get well, his yeah. attention. And then say, hey, do you remember we need, to, we need to go get the wagon ready so we can leave? Well, give me a second. I'm talking. The adults are talking. Uh, copious, you feel a tap <laughs> on your shoulder. <laughs> I'm going to die. I know I am. <laughs> You're going to lose everything. So, no. Here, here's the best part. So copious was all set. And then, and, and now, you know, he's all swapped. And now uh, Man Fang is, is just like irritated him. And so copious is like, Angrily brushing off whatever the tap was, and is staring right at Man Thing and just look. I'm sorry. Did you misunderstand? We need to go. And then well, give me a second. And uh, Man Thing on the other side of Copia is tapping him on the shoulder. Is another one of these gnomes that looks like a lot like Alice Cooper. A uh, very uh, morose looking. Pretty on his face uh, and it is male and the tapping becomes more insistent as he gets brushed off. Meanwhile, the uh, firehead ginger uh, is uh, jingling something in her coin purse. Sounds like coin on gemstone. Okay. You know what? In Oh, my is Stretch, my how about I sweeten the deal? You and I go uh, in the back room and uh, work this problem out. No, 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 no. We can do it here. It's a good place. We're all safe. It's all good. I can negotiate. You know, I like you. I like your hair. It's Copious, cool. the, the tapping is getting more insistent. Uh, so is everyone ready for the bar fight? Our, Damn right. Has our My duck's group, in the way. Has, has all of our employees, are they in this bar or have they already moved towards the... Uh, I'm, I'm going to send the uh, PTSD sucker over to say, hey, those boys over there with the orange hair, they, they say they have some questions for you right? or something about they're going to rob you blind. Maybe you should go talk to them. But you said Hugo into the middle. So but our, our employees are not in this tavern, right? <laughs> Your employees were not injured during the debacle. I'm okay. getting up with my axe. So, so Lord, Copious uh, okay. is going to go ahead and get ready to cast a spell. Mm -hmm. But he's going to uh, reach over to, to Manfang and put a hand on Manfang's chest or as close to his chest as I can get. So we're all doing the Macarena. We're all doing the Macarena. <laughs> okay. Um, but he's going to say, Manfang, Robert needs you right now. And I'm going to point to the other side of the bar um, because I don't trust, you know, the gnome. And then he's, Copious will turn to the one that stabbed him on the shoulder and said, I'll be with you in a moment. And uh, Copious is going to try to escalate this fight pretty quickly. So he's going to ready his dagger and make sure it's, he's got it in easy reach. Sure. You hear uh, the ginger bitch. I wouldn't do that, my friend. Uh, everybody hears and sees the door open as sunlight streams in. A small figure is silhouetted. Everybody give me perception check, including Haggis and his duck. Uh, <laughs> 20. Uh, those two nat 20s were the best I could do. Now 24. Be downhill. I just got a, my perception just gave me a Also 30. 23, but not 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Everybody notices the figure in the doorway is someone quite familiar to you. When you left Light Reach, you ran into a halfling ranger. You notice she is standing there, and behind her is a zonkey. Hmm. She sees kind of you and slams the door. 
outside. So she has a zonkey. <clears throat> yep. What color was it? Uh, perception. Because, you know, the light's screaming in. Right, true to form. 20. 19. Um, 14. It's an albino one. Do we lose if it, she takes it? Yes, like, I mean, we I'm, did. I mean, I somebody lost who was it. Robert, you had it, or it's an albino fan? zonkey. Well, there were two albino zonkeys. One was um, Felix's, and one was Manfang. Did you have the other? Oh, I lost mine. Mine died. Ours <laughs> died. Mine and Manfang's died. Well, that's no, we don't know that they died. We know we couldn't we never, find them. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought we never found them. Mm -mm. But we They're have right to here. assume that it, it's probably Felix Zonkey. I don't, I don't know because I didn't see Jack. I'm, I'm lucky if I know there's a Zonkey out there. This, this is a good time for us to get up and just go outside in general, you know? A moment later, the door opens up again, and you guys all recognize that it's Heine Kin. Uh, she walks in, and as your, I, I guess, general manager, is that what we're going to call her? What do we, you know? Uh, she, comes, she comes in and she sees uh, uh, two leaf flips a bag of coins at you. Uh, go ahead and make sure you don't fumble it as you make the catch. <laughs> That's a 17 straight up. You catch it and it's it feels kind of hefty. Uh, and she goes, That's payment for the zonkey by that one lady. Oh, shit. oh hell no! We didn't sell a zonkey. What are you doing, Heineke? She has a paper. Yeah, she made that paper up. You go get my zonkey. What kind now. of a person would make up false papers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm heading out the door. Sure. Anybody else want to follow? What's my duck looking like? We all Is it full, them? not full. Yeah, well, the duck's full. So what's it? Was it? Is it happy? Not happy? It, it is nonplussed whatsoever. I think the okay. important question is: It's a duck. Who in the hell cares? What well, it? It's like it. My sister I, animal. The duck is my soul. <laughs> That's why the I duck lives. is forever. <laughs> fighting is fighting is temporary. That's why it's crippled, like his soul. <laughs> Life is temporary. Duck is eternal. So leaf is out the door. Did we all hear the, the exchange Leaf had with uh, a Heineken? Oh, yeah. Sure you you heard me. Oh, I was loud. All right. I was loud. I'm going to slap, uh, you know, Manfang's gut, say, let's go, and head out the door. Hit him and not the ginger bitch. <laughs> oh, no, I'm trying to hit her. Oh, yeah. I Natural 17 before. Okay, I yeah. yeah, you smack him in the gut. Hey, man, where'd you do that? So I'm gone. I'm ignoring ignoring him. Man, Fang, she she's tugging on this really long red curl, asking you back room. I'm walking up behind Man <laughs> and grabbing him behind the scruff in two forms. One as your father, two as your counterpart. <laughs> saying, "Come on, we gotta go." And push him out the door. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hugo Boss waves goodbye to you guys as you guys go charging out the door. Hog, I'm sure the only one left with your duck. Uh, I would like it, it. Does it follow me if I step away a little bit? It will follow you. You are flanked by two of these posse members. Okay, I hold my. Uh, may, maybe I should pick it up for this part. Do I do uh, I notice this before I walk out the door? You were well intent on Man Fang. Okay, but I, I go. On, I hit him, grabbed him, threw him to the door. I didn't know if he where he was to that. Okay, um, I, I, I charge right through. They aren't blocking your way. They're just kind of flanking you. Okay, they can flank you all know, they be, want. Being the, being the tough guy is trying to intimidate you. I'm not. I have a duck. What do they have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Look at those nerds without ducks. Uh, you get the duck out of here. Everybody breaks out into the open. Uh, everybody give me an... Uh, let's say investigation to see if you guys spot this wily ranger. <clears throat> 18. 18. 18. 13. It, no, I just didn't get it. My uh, investigation is minus three as well. 
She has mounted uh, said zonkey, and you do recognize it as Buttercup. Uh, you also hear a shriek to the right where you had stabled the giant chickens and the other zonkeys. Uh, it is a shriek of, shall we say, horror. Uh oh. Let's split up. One person maybe shoot the ranger, and then another person go seize the stables real quick. I have a longbow. I, I could. I could four just mill around. <laughs> no, I, I think. I think Haggis is on to something here. We need somebody who can make quick time to check out the stables and then get back to us. But somebody's got to stay on that ranger. I. I could shoot. Maybe an arrow. Nope, at... nope. Hey, without Leaf is the only one. He's not here, but Leaf at least could tra uh, could change form and follow the ranger on the zonkey. <laughs> Leaf is not yeah. turned into a lamb. I'm not. I'm not going to say it. But he if he was a whale, into, he could turn into a whale. <laughs> he could turn into a whale and follow. The apex <laughs> predator. <laughs> right the stealing, the stealing our zonkey need to turn into a. Whale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying if. It, a whale. Wait, does, hey, Haggis, it, does Haggis's duck fly? He, he, does, he does not know. Haggis, tell your duck to attack her. I, uh, she killed hey, your Haggis, brothers. Now, she killed your brothers. Now, now, hang on a second. Are we having Haggis's duck attack, or are we having <laughs> Leaf turn into a whale and smash? Did her? We did we see? Uh, have we found her yet? How is her way? Is she? I, uh, uh, she got 50 feet away and she's spurring. She's Buttercup. 50 foot away. I'm going to cast Catapult at her. Nice. Wait. And, but Leaf, this is, we're saying, can you, can you follow her so we don't lose track? There was also a scream of, of horror came from the stables. I'll go check out the stables. I'll, I'll go. I guess she's going to go check out the stables. I don't have, I'm slow because I'm a gnome. I can go check out the stables with Haggis and leave um, Leaf. These three to kill Buttercup. Is it nighttime? No, it, it's like I could try to get in their way and try and talk to them so I could like postpone them or slow them down. Yeah, you guys but, arrived shortly before noon and you've created nine kinds of havoc in the short time that you've been here. But we're here for it. Including leaving Hugo Boss to regain his senses inside the tavern. Surrounded by this orange ICP. That's right. It's fine. He won't regain his sanity. Around. Is this the town that there was a festival and he turned into like a werewolf or something? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, where this whole mess started. Well, I mean, this isn't like new for them, if you think about it. That's true. Uh, how, fast is, how fast does Zonkeys run? Yeah, I don't know. 40, 45. I'm how just going to do a firebolt at her. How fast do cheetahs run? 65. I'm going to turn into a cheetah. A raptor. That, that, will, that, that will not scare the shit out of a zonkey at all. Hey, nope. The zonkey, you just need to growl. I don't care. I want her. Up. I'm uh, going Rob, after her. Robert's shooting a firebolt. Yep. Wild magic. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, very oh, funny to hit the firebolt. You're going to you teleport through the zonkey and the ranger. <laughs> Two. One. <laughs> I uh, hit the dirty 20. Okay. You're a dirty 20. And I roll 19 points of damage. Uh, that is enough to knock her off. Uh, I assume Leaf has turned into a cheetah. Yeah. Yeah, that is enough to scare the shit out of Buttercup, <laughs> who is now riderless and moving way faster than she was before. Uh, she quickly makes time out of town on the south end, quickly pursued by the giant feline. Everybody in the south end begins to scream, wildebeest, wildebeest, and arm yourselves with spears. So, <laughs> uh, let's, let's, um, let's think about this. So there's a wildebeest, and the people at the village are going to handle it. Well, I'm you just, don't know because you and your duck and Copious are headed north. But we heard someone say, or, or are they talking about um, Leaf? How about Leaf? They're talking about Leaf. Okay, okay. So I'm going to hastily with duck in hand towards the... Why? You, you keep doing that. It's... 
I am just imagining you carrying this duck very precariously. This way, this thing, I'm trying this hard thing. not to. <laughs> <laughs> that duck is going to control your mind at some point. It already he, is. He's gonna he's gonna shit when the duck says, "Eat day, Chuck." <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, super friends. <laughs> So, um, uh, hey, uh, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, poof, and it just comes out like a torpedo. The stable, stable. Sure. Uh, Haggis, are you faster than Copious? Probably, yeah. Uh, or yeah. the same. I think we're the same speed. No, like, I'm a half a duck. You're a gnome. <laughs> I have a duck. <laughs> so, Haggis, I'll, I'll give you the slight edge in this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you guys press the hill where the stables are at, you notice people going in every direction. Uh, they scream out, dear God, what is it? This unholy mess. Somebody get me a, a fire. Oh, <laughs> uh, so clearly there is a problem there. Uh, Leaf, you were just inching closer and closer. You're making great time. Uh, all of a sudden, you see the shaft of an arrow whiz over your head, and you do the sideways glance, and the halflings have declared you a threat to the nation and are arming themselves with spears and bows, trying to defend the town that has a giant mushroom cloud still hovering over it. Uh, All right, I'm going to keep going and try to get ahead of the donkey. Sure. Robert, what are you going to do? You've uh, knocked the ranger off the donkey. She has done a barrel roll and taken off running. I'm after her. She uh, zigzags around a couple buildings. <laughs> uh, give me an investigation check. You want me to roll that for you? I, I'd no. like a uh, man finger roll it. I can roll it. I think 16. today I'd rather have him than Copius do it. Uh, 16, you catch a glimpse of somebody rounding the corner on the right. Following. Uh, give me Aaron a dex spell. Give me a dex save. Oh, man. Uh, dex. 21. Uh, you notice a pig right in the alleyway, and you manage to leap over it. Just as you do, you extend your hand and grab the cloak of your uh, pursue E. Uh, give me a strength check. That 20. Nice. Uh, you 25. just body slam uh, this green cloaked individual right into the dust come skidding in like you're uh, stealing second base. Uh, you, you slide to a halt and, and literally teabag the shit out of this thing. Uh, as, you, as you reach down and pull off the hood, you discover that's not the ranger. You, were <laughs> you knew is, that was coming. You found the barrister. <laughs> oh, about time. Oh, we need him. Uh, so yeah, he should really want to help now too. Yeah, you got that going for you. Uh, Man Fang, uh, which direction did you want to run, or did you just want to go back into the tavern and uh, check on Ginger, <laughs> Ginger Babe, Ginger oh, Snap? Not. Your grandmother's up there with you. I'll, I'll go right up and tell her what's going on. Oh, you better watch her. <laughs> her name is Crystal Ginger Snap. I won't go back. Harry Snap. And ginger snap and baby what's going snap. on. So Leaf turned into a cheetah and is running. And Copius and Haggis went off to do. Where's Rob? Where's There's Rob? a screech at the stables. I chased after the uh, ranger. I, I she went left out on foot. And I chased after. Her. So I'm alone now. Yes. Pretty much. The door opens from the tavern and the insane clown posse exit, each holding tankards. And Ginger Snap looks at you and goes, friend of yours, romantic rival, ugly Who? sister. Who, the one on the horse or the one on the funky? The one in the doorway. Oh, God. I'm so confused. Okay, so Ginger. Talk about that time you were in, in the bar with her and somebody popped in the door. Oh, okay. Then no, it was no one. It was just like personal things. <laughs> 
Well, just first she, things. She just reaches first up time. and gives you a pat on the cheek and says, "Well, if you change your mind about that battle axe, let me know." All right, cool. Uh, I'll see you later. I guess I'll walk away. Sure, they're all laughing, but you walk away. Uh, do you want to walk north where the stables are? South where Robert and the cheetah are at, <laughs> chasing the shit scared zonky. I think I'm just gonna take a seat on the bench. I think everybody's covered. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna take a seat, relax. You know, yeah. I done my part today. Pat that works. On the back. You you've done it. You've you've done enough. I think I pat relax the fire out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fire bad. I I'm found it. Fire bad. bad. Wow. Uh, Haggis and uh, Copius, you reached the stables. Uh, before uh, him, right? Um, just slightly I, before him, and the duck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm faster than him in this in real life, too. Is it just. You know what, boy? You know why you're faster? Because we're old and we know that we have a <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> I never had to chase people very far because I always knew I had a car to catch. <laughs> uh, so you guys reach the opening of the stable and there before you, there is a bloody mess. Uh, and it's actually uh, coming from Copius's Zonky, who is down on her side. Uh, she is in a fair amount of distress. I will take medical checks from both of you. How do you do a medical check? I Look under know. M for medical. I think there's it's medicine. Wisdom. Yeah, yeah there's one. So die 20 plus wisdom? Mm -hmm. uh, so. Plus medicine. It is actually a field on your list of skills on your character sheet. Okay. Um, it, when I look at my zonkey. 17. It, it Has her uh, stomach exploded like something out of Alien? Or does it look like there's just a whole lot of afterbirth bleeding? It is afterbirth. Oh, 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 is there oh. some alien-like creature trail that goes <laughs> off from... <laughs> nope, it does not trail off. I guess your duck goes ape shit and starts quacking loudly and angrily. Copious, this thing's a demon. As you follow <laughs> its eyes, it is tracking to the left where an egg-shaped creature exists, but it's only like two feet tall, and it's got like satyr hooves. Uh, it, so if an egg had a satyr hoof, uh, that's what it would look like. But the thing also has an unusual beak uh, and it has vaguely humanoid-esque uh, facial like a dragon. appearances. It, you've never seen anything like it. It looks like some kind of hybrid <laughs> creature that is just uh, some kind of hellish Spawn. Uh, it walks like Haggis's duck. It's very unsteady on its feet, but as its small beak opens up, it reveals rows of teeth. This creature is a manifestation of every horror thing you've ever seen. Roll Does it look like leaf? Like, just, like Hey, hey, hey! Let's roll hey. initiative first, and then I'll tell you. Nap 20. <laughs> God, I rolled a four again. Thirteen. Man, you really suck today. <laughs> I'm gonna roll for you. The manifestation looks left, looks right. The duck angrily quacks at it, and it goes in between some loose boards and out the back of the stable. A loud <laughs> groan is heard from Copius's animal. Uh, both of you can give me perception checks, please, and then you can go. Afraid to. Huh. Um, Thank you. 13. 18. Uh, in answer to your question, it did vaguely look like Leaf the Druid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> gross. With some, some uh, generated appearance. It doesn't, you know, he doesn't have the beak with teeth, but there was the fairly significant. Uh, <laughs> you can hear the people on the other side of the stable screaming and running for their life. Uh, you can pursue uh, by going out and around. You can pursue by trying to wedge yourself through this narrow opening. You can check on Copius's mount, or you can just call it a day, cut off the mount's head, and <laughs> say, you know, we got an extra chicken, we should be fine. You should look at your mount for a little bit. 
but I'm checking I, out my mount. I want to see if my mount and if my mount is in significant distress or appears like it's failing, I'm going to be screaming for a, a, a doctor, stable hand, whoever's there. Medic! <laughs> medic! Medic! I said that, you know, that thing, I put I, the low rider, <clears throat> I put runes on my zonkey. It was a low rider. We well, had Your that child is escaping. I'm not that I'm like against it, but it's I'm not I'm, my I'm, child. Are we sure I we want to? percent of that thing. <laughs> are we sure uh, we want to? Are we killing this? Oh, are we God. not no, killing this? No, 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 no. If we capture it, it's going in the roadhouse. That will bring the crowds in. The rooms will come from all over to see that <laughs> creature. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pursue the, of the, the creature. creature that killed the cartman. Okay, give me an athletics check to start there, Hoggis. Oh, yeah. That, what about acrobatics? Going, what about acrobatics? What, it has to be athletics because you're running. So yeah. Now, are you running through the gap or out and around? Um, when it exit the gap, did I see which direction it went with my perception? Perception roll. But, all right. And, and then athletics. No, the other 18 perception. perception. Identified paternity. <laughs> It went 13 right. athletics. It went right. Uh, okay. So it only has two legs. Uh, the duck is enraged. I mean, the duck also has never seen this uh, malformed creature before, and the duck is outraged. Maybe we the can duck unlock needs the power to get over it. I'm telling you. Are you going to hang on to the duck or just sprint? Um, I'm going to place the duck here next to Copius, and the duck does what it needs. So I'm going to chase the thing. Fair, fair enough. Copius, give me a medicine check to see if you can tell uh, how distressed your zonkey is. Uh, <laughs> 17. Uh, it, it, the breathing seems to be normalizing, so you don't think it is uh, in danger of dying, uh, but it, I mean, the afterbirth, it shit a giant two-foot egg, so um it, it, it's, that it, had to hurt. Yeah, it, it's it's going to be from, a day or two. My, just from my picturing what it is, it's not an actual egg with like the legs have poked through the eggshell, is it? No, it is not. <laughs> Although that would that would have been a great idea. <laughs> okay, just making it's sure. the legs. And no, that's what I was picturing. It, it is a furry uh, zebra striped egg shaped body with uh, satyr feet, woven hooves. But no, for cool no to arms, me. no little tiny arms. No tiny arms. Okay. But yeah, I, I you know, in retrospect, just having it poke out of the egg that would have been really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You missed okay. the chance missed, there. Missed the opportunity there. I, but I, copious, it came out of your mount. It's yours. I said, I, I, we have not established paternity, but it, uh, I currently own that, and it's going in my sideshow. No, oh, who's the father though? Uh, I think we all know who the father is. Hey, you are not the father. <laughs> Leaf, uh, I am your father, puke. We're, go we're going to straight up <laughs> 20 this thing because the zonkey is going to try and avoid it. So I, I'm, on, I'm trying to go around, circle out, and get in front of it. I oh, should yeah. be fast enough to do that. Oh, yeah, it'll let you, but it's going to, you know, hang a left. So it's, I mean, it's that's up. all right. I'm still going to try to get in front of it. Sure. D20. 16. Uh, straight up D20? Straight up D20. Uh, that's 15. Man, that zonkey's ass is on fire, literally, because uh, the firebolt did hit its rider. Uh, you are not getting in front of it this round, and it is careening hellbent. Okay, for now I'm going to jump on its saddle. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, hit it. <laughs> it ain't mine if I miss and happen to claw anything up and touch it. <laughs> that's true. All right, let me see. AJ's probably listening to it thinking, come on, baby. come on now, baby. Don't let me down. Don't come. Big number. Big number. That is a 19 straight yeah, up. You leap on top of the saddle of the scared, shitless animal. Yes. Uh, oh, that must calm it down. All right, now hang on a minute. <laughs> sure. As soon as I get on that saddle, and I know you're going to make me roll for this, I'm reverting back to my normal form. I knew you would. Uh, go ahead and do animal handling to hang on to that saddle. Okay, I got a plus eight on my animal handling, so that's good. Right, there you go. Ooh, one. That is a 24. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, you revert, grab a hold of the saddle horn. Uh, the zonkey is still hell-bent. They're jealous. Yeah. I am, during this time, and at this point, I'm immediately going to start 
of whatever the word is communicating with the killing it <laughs> no that's a word <laughs> uh communicating with the uh, zonky trying to calm it down fair enough uh robert uh after your successful attack on the barrister uh and that was a subsequent bagging of him uh what would you like to do as he is in a rather stunned state as to why he was tackled i thought you were the person of theft who's been horse thief zonky thief have you seen somebody back here wearing a green cloak like yours as i'm scanning around still sitting on him with my nuts right there sure uh those walnuts, no. peanuts, what? No, and can you yes, move nuts. that away? <laughs> sure. Should I go forward or back? Do you want me to go forward or should I go back? Forward? Gonna, so you, you don't give a shit about needing this guy in the future. <laughs> no. I figured after I tackled him, I already broke that horse. Yeah. So I'll, I'll slide forward after a few times and then. Sorry, let me help you out. Pick At him up. what point during all these game hours has Robert shown empathy for anybody? <laughs> uh, Just man, like man, in fact, there's a cool breeze coming in out of town. Uh, fortunately, it is moving the uh, stench of death, burning, and uh, caustic spit from you uh, off to the north and this is a nice town. This is a really nice town. <laughs> yeah, I'm just enjoying life. I'm taking a second to stop. Yeah, just, you know, you got to soak it up because you don't yeah. know, you might be dead later. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, people are still milling about. You're hearing screams to the right, screams to the left. All is well. All is good. All is well. All is good. Uh, meditating. Yeah. So uh, you just want to hang out on the bench? Yeah. Become a hobo for life? Okay. Yeah, man. Sounds great. Uh, Copious, uh, back to you and your zonky. Uh, her breathing is starting to become regular again. Uh, yeah, there's going to be some hip issues there because uh, you know, that's a pretty big thing. Uh, the duck is looking at you quizzically. Uh I'm looking at the dog, I'm like, I, what do you want me to do about it? I don't know where he went. Uh, the duck starts to peck at the ground, trying to find something else to eat. Hoggis, you are sprinting around, uh, dodging people that are returning to see what this whole unholy mess is. Give me a perception check. You know, it's like one of those uh, Easter egg toys that you get that you wind up and it just... 18? 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's running through the tree scaring the shit out of people. Okay. Um, do I see Man Fang Man? No. He's, he is exactly where you would never look. Right in the <laughs> middle of everything relaxing. Is this creature furred or scaled or neither? That's a good question. Furred. It's it's like a, a egg shaped zonky top. Okay. So, um, it, it, thinking about it, where, what happened to um, I perception? What? Uh, where is she, the lady? The redheaded ginger snap. Light reach ranger. Oh, uh, hell, you have no idea. I thought she was, she came into the bar. She did. Okay. And then uh, <laughs> she took off on the zonky. Robert shot her. Leaf turned into a cheetah. Because, uh, you know, let's stay calm here. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and then Robert <laughs> lost her somewhere in the buildings on the south end. Hey, let's be honest. If I Even if I wouldn't have changed in a cheetah, getting hit in the ass with a fireball would make anybody run for... That is true. Darn right. Um, and and this, um, this creature is not really a threat, right? <laughs> Did we... Not that you can tell. No, it's a baby. Wait. <laughs> And hey, hey, Haggis, what you didn't see is the stable hand that the creature ate its way through its abdomen. 
You missed that part. It just <laughs> dove at it, ran, <laughs> dove, and just like a bur burrowed right through it. Everybody was screaming because the last thing it saw going into its maw was a hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to go back to the stable and look for my, get my deck. Uh, Copious, uh, he walks Shit. in. Right. I, don't thanks, know. Thanks, I lost Frank. it. I lost <laughs> track of it. Creature? I did. I lost track of it. Where did you, how do you lose the thing? It's a it's... two foot tall furred egg, <laughs> a beak with teeth. And it's like it's people screaming. What do you expect? It's like Satan's offspring. It just <laughs> <laughs> Where did you last see it? <laughs> it turned a corner behind the building and I don't know. It's kind of gone. Come, show me where it is. Okay, I, I take him to um that uh, copious your uh zonky. It, it, you, if she still looks stable, I'm gonna. Is there anybody left in the stable or anyone? Oh, hell no. Left? Yeah. Oh, what do you expect, no. man? They they have no guts. Is this <laughs> thing leaving a trail? <laughs> Not anymore. I it, it could come back to the zonkey because at some point it may want to breastfeed, right? It's That's cool. to... with teeth like that, that's gonna hurt. Well, it, it, it's not gonna want to eat for a while after eating that uh, stable boy. That's true. Yeah, it's pretty full. Uh, so no. I, I'm gonna say Haggis quickly. Let's go see where you left off. I want to see if we can pick up its trail again. Oh, the duck! The duck! It um it 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 made a noise whenever. <laughs> Stop doing that. Um, the duck like the duck <laughs> hates it. So if we take the well, it, apparently wah, halflings wah, use ducks. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Yeah. Like a metal <laughs> radar system. Yeah, it's a, we're scanning for mine. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Let, let, I'm gonna use the duck. I'm not. I'm gonna go <laughs> to where I last <laughs> saw. Are you gonna put it on a stick and <laughs> swing it around? <laughs> where I last saw um crank, 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 crank. the thing. Crank, 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 crank. No, I just yeah. hold it by the back legs like a divining rod. <laughs> <laughs> Make it use its uh, beak to go in. Uh, yeah. You, yeah, you, you get to the edge of town, uh, and it's off into the nature. Mm. I can hardly wait for this thing to reappear. Hopefully, you guys are going to the capital. <laughs> we got to. I got. I got. I got dragon leather to work. Have work scale. Yeah, that's going to come into be a problem here shortly. So uh, you and uh, Copious head on <laughs> off into the edge of uh, town to oh. search for the creature. What's uh, what name shall we give this thing? Do we want to name it? Like, the uh, creature? Yeah. They say you shouldn't do that. I think yeah. Daffy's a good name. No, not the duck. Aren't we talking about the creature? We're no, talking about the creature. I'm talking about the creature. <laughs> No, I think something with leaf in its name is probably more appropriate. Dead leaf, cardinal leaf, foliage, <laughs> foliage. Yeah, <laughs> ivy, moss. water, moss, moss, moss. Yeah, cannon fodder, spruce leaf. How about eggplant? I How like it, egg as as it grows, yeah. it'll start to look like yeah. an eggplant. Perfect. So is this thing bad? No, it's a baby. Uh, Babies are never bad. Keep your fingers away from it if you go to feed it. Though. <laughs> your arms and legs. Yeah. Don't pet it or look at it in the eyes or anything. But no. gotta call it Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, meanwhile, Robert Damien would probably be a good name. <laughs> Tyree. We should name it Tyree. Spawn of Satan. <laughs> what was? Uh, oh. Uh, the horror master. What was the doc? Cujo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Cujo. Yeah. Uh, Robert, you've uh, picked up the barrister. He's still a little bit askew from the pummeling. Uh, I'm brushing him off. That you've given him. Uh, he points out he has not seen the ranger, doesn't know who you're talking about. I, uh, I, I, need, a, I need a drink. <laughs> Oh, well, let me lead you back to the bar. It's back around that way. It's a good bar. That, you know, tell the barkeep the first round's on me for you. As you round the corner with them, you see Man Fang. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't going to take him. I was going to look for the, I was going to see if I could see a trail or anything. Oh, uh, not on this ranger, you aren't. Oh, 
and the pig still looks like a pig. Yeah. Uh, Leaf the cougar slash cheetah slash uh, rodeo clown. Uh, uh, you managed daddy. to calm Buttercup down. You forgot daddy. 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 Sweet daddy. daddy, wasn't it? Or was Sweet daddy. Name? Sweet we daddy Seeky. You. So uh, you are about a mile out of town. Uh, I'm going to get get him turned around and start heading back in. Time to make another offspring. Uh <laughs> <laughs> you get you get turned around and you hear "Ho oh, there!" Oh, this boy. one hasn't had a had its uh, foal yet. I hear "Ho oh, there!" from who? Where? Uh, you turn around and it looks like military dudes. I'm gonna say "Hey" and put spurs to it and gallop back to town. Hey, stop! Hey, hey, you stop! What? Can't hear you! Can't hear you! <laughs> Keep galloping. Man Fang. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I need to get some dinner in me. Uh, all of a sudden, you hear the galloping noise, and here comes Lee Hellbent for the election. Oh, wait uh, a minute. <laughs> it's just blown by you. <laughs> uh, give me a perception check. That is a... 13. The Smurf army is hut, hut, hutting their way into town, <laughs> all armed with spears, uh, chugging away. Uh, <sighs> guy in hockey. You see him? You see which way this is guy? Sure. I'm going to point in the opposite direction. That's where we came from. Well, I, isn't there? Okay, how does the town? Hey, must have rode right by you. <laughs> you went that way. <laughs> they circle up and they're trying to figure it out. Uh, Robert, as you're going around the buildings, it's here somewhere. Got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> face to face, military guy. <clears throat> Whoa there, big ugly. What are you doing here? Oh. You gotta push him back a little bit. Personal space, buddy. Personal space. Back off, big man. You're in my bubble. Who are you? What are you doing here? Who are you? What are you doing here? I am Lieutenant Chang. And Lieutenant Dan, huh? You got Dan. new legs. <laughs> I think he said Chang. Dude. He said yes. Chang. I heard Chang. As well, Lieutenant That's Dan. who took Lieutenant Dan. Dan's legs. <laughs> I've got my legs, stranger. I don't know who you are. What do you What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm looking for a guy on a, a small <laughs> pony with stripes. I'm looking for a guy on a small <laughs> pony. Oh my god! These Did are not the droids you're looking for. D12 against me. Okay. That's your mic peaking very bad. Is that eleven or two? Eleven. Nine. Nah, nah. Try this. I pulled out a bitters. I hate him a bitters. That is some fine brewage. Now you know what I'm doing here. Partner of mine, we're reopening a new roadhouse. And we do our own brewing. That's his brew. What's wrong with the roadhouse? Why are you opening a new one? Dragon burn it down. I haven't heard about it. Yeah. Can but I have another no, hit on that? Yeah, have another one. You can have the rest of the bottle. Oh, very nice. <laughs> What are you guys doing here, anyways? Look for somebody on a zonkey. Is that what you said? Zebra? I don't know what it is. Some <laughs> guy outside of town. I, 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 I'm just doing my job. That's what. That's all I'm doing. Let's walk over to the bar. If you haven't seen what I'm looking for, and I haven't seen what you're looking for, might as well mosey that way. Where are you guys? Where are you guys coming out of? Uh, we're coming out from the east. Out from the east. We are coming from. <laughs> 
Uh, Orphic. Orphic. Oh. Orphic. Okay, right. southeast. Uh, that blob. Uh, <laughs> We're in Triorki. What's Orphic? Is it like a town? It's this growth on the bottom of your butt. Yeah, it's Orphic is a uh, opening in your body. You know, uh, you'll notice Triorki has two buildings. Orphic is a small village, so Orphic is going to be larger than Triorki. Really? It looks yeah. smaller. Looks like. A... Huh. What's that place like? So, sounds like it's a pretty good place. Is there any interest out there? What's yeah. what? It's Riverside. What, bring, what brings you from there to here, though? Yeah, some of us got caught gambling. Uh, y'all being punished. Pretty much. They said they want us to do something somewhere down on the coast. They said uh, there's some important business down there that we got to go look at. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know Where, what it is. What? We've never been there. You don't remember the name of the place you're going? I'm a lieutenant. That's I leave that up to the big brass. Ah, who's the big brass? Uh, that's a female, and Selena is her name. Captain Selena. Ah, Gomez. Captain Gomez. Bless, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you're, you're headed to the tavern with him. Yeah, uh, welcome to the tavern. And Fang, you were just... Oh. Not Chilling. for food, not for food. What, what should I do? Uh, Copius, what do you want to do? So uh, at this point, Haggis and Copius have lost all sign and trail of the, the egg. No screaming, no yelling, uh, no woodland creatures are stirring. Thing probably went to ground. We need, a, the you need a helicopter there. Uh, maybe a uh, leaf can turn into a <laughs> flying blue whale. Flying whale. Whale with wings. Uh, I think a flying shark would be cool. That'd be cool. I can't fly to level eight, so forget it. So it's Not still the afternoon, though, right? Yeah, it's Let's, about supper time. And about all, of our, all of our folks, all of our crew have moved off to the site if they're not in town. Correct. Uh, and they have the wagon with uh, some of the supplies. Correct. You were going to make arrangements uh, with the Hugo to have him drop that off as he went over to the tower. Right. So I want to make sure that Hugo is recovered enough that our shipments being dropped off today in the morning for the construction of the tents. So uh, last to time the you saw, I was going to say last time you saw him, he was at the tavern. So that's where oh. I'm going to head with with Haggis. D12 against me, Copius. Three. Nine. Uh, the insane clown posse is still there. Not a huge surprise. And Copius will be completely ignore them, totally dismissive. They are uh, half assed barbarians. They're playing mumbly peg with their daggers. And they seem to be pretty good at it. I take uh, my duck and I go to the tavern too. You're there with them. So you see the insane clown posse playing mumbly peg. Uh, uh, like outside? Inside. Okay. Um, uh, you, you'll bar. notice all of those uh, shell-shocked patrons, most of them have moved on. There's one or two still there getting a meal. Uh, but the tavern's pretty sparse. I would like to watch the Russian roulette. Sure. Hope if you want to ignore them, what do you want to do? I'm going to ignore the posse. I'm just going to see if I can see... Uh... Hugo Boss. If he's not in the tavern, I'll he ask him at the bar. He is in the tavern. I'm going to go over to Hugo Boss. We were supposed to meet for dinner anyways. I didn't have time to change. Yeah, obviously. Uh, so it, Copies is going to ask him and confirm. I said, is there any reason why this should delay your delivery of shipment out to the roadhouse site? The events of this morning? Me getting blown up? No, that shouldn't cause any problems whatsoever. And then Copius is going to try to engage him in a discussion um, that says, uh, obviously, we've purchased most of his wares through our third party with Heineken. So there's a, you know, there is an opportunity. Yes, stole my wares under false pretenses. 
Mm, no, no, we paid for them fairly. She's our general manager. She is our proxy. There's no reason why we wouldn't use her. Um, she is our, our uh, you know, uh, lictor or whatever you want to refer to her as. She will be in charge of the site construction. She made the purchases. She'll continue to make purchases. But there is an opportunity here. Now that Heineken is going to be tied up with the Roadhouse as our general manager, uh, our distribution channels are going to be uh, limited. She was under franchisee to sell bull bitters across the continent. She won't be able to do that, which means we no longer have a franchisee with a wagon who's going to be traveling. I'm listening. There may be an opportunity to work out. You'd work with Heineken as the general manager. You would not work with us, but she would supply you with a certain amount. You could retain some of the profit. Some of the profit would come back to her. You can purchase outright or you can do a, a share and pay on a regular basis, deposit in banks. Uh, it's up to you. But, I'm thinking 60 for you. Uh, yeah, I would take 60. No, that's not how I saw it. Uh, if we are supplying it, you supplied the barrel so that we are not out the barrel cost. Fair. You supply the barrels. You will not be told the ingredients that go into Vol Bitters, and you'll be limited to Vol Bitters uh, uh, best only for sale. Black Label will be still exclusive to the Roadhouse. I will want to be able to maintain other competitor brands as well as I ferry them to and fro the, to their destination. Um, that may be agreeable, providing Vol Bitters is the first in the top listed on any sale first. And then if you undersell, uh, if your profits begin to dip on the bull bidders in favor of one of the others, you have to pay a penalty against to the bull bidders brand. That is fair. All right. Well, uh, give us about... Uh, call Door it. opens up and in comes the barrister. Perfect. Is uh, Robert with the barrister? He is not. So I, I will try to motion to the barrister and see if he will come over. What? Are you going to drag your genitalia over my face like your friend did? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, that's a, uh, a sign of respect, maybe, from him and his people. I'm not entirely sure. You don't even know which friend it was. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, I, I know he it's is. not man thing. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so my apologies for that uh, uncouth barbarian. I said, uh, but there is some work here for you, uh, Your Honor, if you'd be willing to draw up some paperwork for us. Uh, he's going to charge five gold pieces, uh, and he'll be able to go ahead and uh, adjudicate that. That would be just fine. As soon as he has it drawn up, I will sign off on it. Uh, minus five. D12 against me. Three. My luck's uh, old. Good lord. I, I would like I would like a signing bonus before I put pen to paper here. I need a new hat. I'll tell you what. I will procure a hat for you of the finest, finest materials upon your first successful sale of entire shipment of Vol Bitter's Best. I'm going to the Capitol for my own wardrobe update. I will procure a hat at that time. D12. Oh my God. Five. It better be a nice hat. It'll be a nice hat. It won't be nicer than mine, but it'll be a nice hat. He puts pen to paper. Uh, about that time, Robert and the lieutenant wander into the bar. Yeah, hello there. That is the guy that dragged his genitalia across my face. Yeah. I was just thanking you for your kind service. I assume that was your the guy who dragged his genitalia across your face. 
Uh, Leaf, as you uh, come back into town running from the law, where are you going to hide? I, I'm heading to the stables. Well, they'll never look for you there. Well, <laughs> I, I don't feel I don't feel that I'm running from the law. I just didn't bother to stop and talk to him. I'm putting a, getting a zonkey back in and get it um, secured. Yeah, and as I ride in, I'm going to see if I can procure somebody to hire for uh, guard duty. Strangely enough, there's nobody around. Wait, guard duty or to witness your unnatural acts? Which is it? Well, in that case, I guess I'll guard him myself. Which zonkey was yours there, Copious? Oh, I think you know which zonkey was mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, looks like she's ready. You know what? I'll I'll give you one guard. His name is Brazzers. (laughs) (laughs) I'll take the zonkey back to the uh, stables and get it secured. Make sure the rest of them are. You see the military milling about a great deal. That's fine. I'll stay in the stables and keep an eye on the zonkeys. I'm not going to take a chance on them. I'm going to first, um, I'm going to look all over the stables, make sure there's nobody hiding in them. Nobody hiding. Okay. And make sure all the doors are secured from the inside. There are three giant eggs that the chickens shit when that thing was born. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I'd forget about a large omelet for you guys, did you? Oh, man, I'm telling you, I, I, it's the stables where I'd be building a fire now. Ostrich-sized egg. Oh. Hey, we, we need those eggs to, you know, sit and settle and hatch so I can build my herd. Well, for I that to happen, your... those have got to be fertilized before they're laid, son. Take, take to it. Uh, before <laughs> they're laid. I'm just saying, take to it. Man, Fang, what are you doing? Your, stomach, your stomach's starting to grumble. You know what? I'll go into the bar. I think I'm getting a little hungry. I'll order myself a meal. Everybody's into the bar. D12 against me, man, Fang. All right. Uh, and it continues. Ginger Snap sits down just as your meal is arriving and plucks a delicious fry from your plate. I'll ask her, are you going to pay for that? Are, is she going to what? Is she going to pay for that? I ordered this meal. With she, looks at, she looks at you with indignation and goes, you can have it back. I right, throw so that plate away. Popper, Popper, man, Fang, don't put up with that shit. Just hit her. <laughs> I'm just, I can't. I won't. That's start a horrible fight. Whatever. <laughs> I I mean, I'll go over and pop her. <laughs> Listen, he's trying to promote. I, Copious had to see this. He's I, I'm going over. I'm going over. He's going to have to out of her chair. It goes. It's on it now. It's on right. now. Everybody, everybody who wants to go over and pop or roll a D12 against me. <laughs> I was just talking. What happened? I got your back, man, Fang. Seven. <laughs> uh, I don't need your back. I don't need my own back. I have fifteen. I point the duck at her. How did you get a fifteen on a D twelve? Because I, when I hit the button, I hit the uh, uh, dex roll. Uh, how about a D twelve roll? Try again. <laughs> I want to ask the. I'm going to ask the tavern keeper. Do you care if we escort the the, the clowns out? Four. Uh, yeah, neither one of you notice what happened with the man thing. Because <laughs> she's all hunched up against him. Uh, well, I, I mean, honestly, if I see her <laughs> over by him again, I, I might not see that, but I'm not going to let her over by him. I've already had him remove him from the bar once. <laughs> so I might not know what's going on, but I'm not going to let this partake again. That's fair. Man, Fang, D12 against me. Let's see what her reaction is. 12. I got an 8. Come on, boys. Let's blow this popcorn stand. And uh, they whoop, fall into a single line and start marching out. I'm going to stick my foot out. <laughs> on, on their way out, I say um, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> 
Back to the riffraff delay. <laughs> As this all happening, I'm going to yell from behind. Nerd. With, with a 19, uh, Ginger Snap sees your foot extend and steps right on your toe. I'm going to stand up and push. That That's hurt. Assault. That's assault. You assaulted me. Oh, My good sorry. friend that I just bought a beer for. Did you see this woman assault me? Uh, he's nope. three sheets to the wind. <laughs> nope. uh, could, could I fake trip? Sure. You might you might want to go into the bathroom for a second. You're not going to yeah, want to be around you know, here. For once, I'm really glad I'm in the stables. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, Robert, uh, she puts on an air of faux concern. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Big Man. Did my dainty little feet hurt you? Are you so delicate that I, one third your size, was able to hurt you? Are you okay? Would you like me to kiss it and make it better? I'm more afraid of the pus dripping at your hoochie getting me infected <laughs> with something. Why don't you step, biatch, and push her away? I don't like her. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't like any of you. Hit, hit her to give her her push. I'll tell you what it is. You're a racist because you don't like copious either, and he's a no. It's no. I'm seeing bigotry here. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it does have a lot to do with the fact that she's a no. And <laughs> copious is not my partner. Specious. Specious. <laughs> I rolled a natural 20. Oh, yeah. You shove her over a table. Her associates uh, brisk at this, and the door opens up, and a large human female wanders in armed to the teeth uh the lieutenant <laughs> starts to crawl underneath the door or the table <laughs> and must be that must be the captain sheila here whatever her name is she, she arrives selena and asks pushing women down it was him, and then around the bar. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Bro. He did it. You know, as a woman yourself, women can do be quite powerful foes if you let them. At if least you you're smart them. enough to realize that. ICP out. We're claiming the tavern. Uh, they pick up Ginger Snap and hurriedly exit out of the tavern. Uh, behind the captain are several members of the military, hungry, uh, hungry like a wolf. One of them looks at Nan Fang and says, Captain, what about this one? He, he's with me, ma'am. I'll wave politely. The captain reaches out, grabs a hold of Nan Fang's chin, and twists his head. And when Ginger Snap gave him that, she drilled face paint down the side. Well, man, you've been marked. You've been claimed by the ICP. Have I? Oh, uh, no. Ah! Ah! You want to there. There's no head question, young man. See what happens when you mess around with 30 women? How was I supposed to know? You don't. That's why your dad's telling you. Stay so out of those bars. Intelligence check. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll ask her to please remove her hands from my face politely. Oh, that was the, that was an hour ago. You've been sitting out on the bench, marked like of the ICP. Oh, great! Could I could I ask her to take her hand off the face, please? Please. She's, go she's gone, man. Is she? Did she leave? Am I just stupid and not knowing what's going on? My, my dog go, could yeah, look it off. I, I would go. <laughs> what? So the captain <laughs> left. He th he's talking about the captain. He, oh he, like no, the she, captain she, of the brand. Oh no, the captain and uh, the military guys are all getting dinner. All right, so she left me alone. I'll go wash my face off if I've been marked. I'll go to the bathrooms and wash. You better get the grain alcohol to scrub that shit off. Yeah, uh, you know what, Fang Man? You're probably going to have this overwhelming urge to buy oversized red shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Clown noses have big nose. Yeah. Burning flower. Oh, yeah. Uh, we will end it here as it's dinner time and you guys are in the tavern for once. All but one of you are in the right place at the right time. 
The other one Felix. is the fugitive of justice and probably B.A. Baracus. <laughs> I've stolen a horse. I know. I'm, I'm alone in this stable with all these animals. <laughs> all, all your all your friends. Uh, middle Frank, what would you think? Yeah. It's amazing. It's another round of no true combat. I mean, I did get the fire off around them. Well, I gotta say, it wasn't because we yeah. didn't try. Yeah, you guys tried. It just I, uh, I keep in... trying, trying to trying to start something. Hoggis, uh, you got a duck now. What do you What do you think your chances are of keeping that duck? A lot. Depends on how hungry we are. <laughs> <laughs> Or other mood swings that some of you are. We eat that duck, we're going to get like... It's like bag. two feet tall. You can't... No. Ava guy oranges? No, yeah, hey, the, the duck... Yeah, duck... El Orange. El Orange? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh let me to talk with that for you, huh? What was the name of the old actor that was in uh, Support Your Local Sheriff? Was it Jack... Jack Leland? Jack Elam. Got that Elam. cock eye. That was it. That's yeah. all I could picture every time you describe that duck. <laughs> Jack uh, uh. I, I'm sorry, Jack Elam, uh, Smokey and the Band, or no, not Smokey and the Bandit. It was Cannibal uh, Run. Cannibal Run. Run. Cannibal Run Two, or was it one? No, it was one. Two. It was two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, support your local sheriff. Support your local gunfighter. Yeah, Jack Elam was great. He, he was either a sidekick or a bad guy in every Western there was. Uh, well, he had that eye. So he had to be Oh, bad. yeah. Anything that, with a bad true. eye is always bad. Oh, he just died right, a couple Hoggins? years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Quack, quack, quack. Uh, man thing, what'd you think? What did I think? I thought it was great. I got to relax myself. I got marked. That's not the greatest. Um, by the clown. The clown. The I'm insane to, clown the posse. Clown. You should call them that next time. <laughs> God, that's you guys not a good fight. Idea. You should call them that. Uh, next time uh, Jason, what do you think? I am still disgusted by the egg creature that has been produced, <laughs> and that will haunt my dreams for the next week. You're welcome. Uh, It'll haunt I, him even more if he draws up a picture of it. I was going to say, I, I'm working on uh, gimping in a picture on it. So it just takes a while to morph Wait a minute, I, Jason, different features. Well, I thought you were the artist. I, I sure as shit am not an artist. I am a thief. <laughs> the only thing I want to see that either is in, a, in a, uh, an aquarium or terrarium inside my uh, roadhouse to bring in the rubes or... Uh, stuffed and mounted somewhere but i sure as heck don't want to see it alive right oh now. i've got a feeling if you try to do that it's not going to stay there very long do you think it's going to be normal when it grows up like like human oh well, I'm, I'm sure wait a minute normal. is there anybody in this party <laughs> that's normal let's let's see if it grows up and becomes a shapeshifter that'll be the bigger thing <laughs> <laughs> i kind of like that think about that write that down frank oh, oh, I, I, got, oh I got it that's why you record this episode <laughs> uh frank senior what'd you think oh i'm having a ball Oh I this, God, that was a it? that was a nice plus. I wasn't expecting that tonight, and uh, glad to hear everything come out all right. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes. It's it's bad. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, I will use my limited skills uh, to try and come up with a feasible image. Uh, oh. However, and I love omelets too. By the way, well, you got three big ones waiting for you if. Uh, if our resident artist Dawn is listening to this, maybe she can come up with something hideous. Uh, we'll have to email her and see what she can come up with. Oh, Ooh, that's a good picture. <laughs> I, uh, I have picture critters from the 1980s movies. Critters. That, that's what I was thinking. Oh, Dad, that's too cute. It's too nice. It has to be uglier. That's amazing. That's perfect. I can't remember oh, what the critters uh, look like. Folks, this is uh, this has like, been Murder yeah. Homo Inc. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, the link is down there. Most importantly, if you want some custom dice that roll really, really well, uh, at Pirate Dog Dice, check them out on Twitter. Wow. That's a, That's a testicle. That is wonderful. <laughs> Oh, oh uh, man, you are messed up, dude. Yeah, that's yeah, amazing. Oddfish, Oddfish Games, maker of Adventure Sense. We'll see if they can, I don't know, 
create something out of that debacle. <laughs> uh, and uh, obviously, don't forget Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, and uh, or MurderHobo.com. There Murder it is. HoboCon.com. Uh, <laughs> wow, it's just been one of those nights. Yes, there's the critter. That is actually what I was envisioning. Uh, so, folks, uh, if you want to be on a one shot like this past Saturday or on the talk show on Tuesday, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. Folks, uh, we all have to go see our therapist now. So let's go ahead and <laughs> wave and blow a kiss. Um, bye, everybody. Okay.